Namaste. Welcome. So today I'm gonna um, explain about to the flow force uh, in yoga. It's called as a holasan because it looks like a, um, the flow when you, the, the, the farmer uh, they go for the field and they cultivate their um, field. They, they use one instrument, a traditional instrument uh, that is called as a flow. So that's why because the posture is, looks like a flow and uh, it has uh, some also benefits and uh, contradiction. So let me tell you that uh, it's very good for the, the menopause for the women and, um, and it's also very good for the abdominal region and the spinal flexibility and uh, the shoulder uh, stress so that's increase the shoulder strength as well and uh, to some extent it's also uh, good for to release uh, the fatigue uh, the stress and anger okay so uh, along with uh, these um, benefits it has also some contraindication like uh, people those who have a cervical problem the neck pain and then a severe back pain or the sciatica and uh, during the menstruation uh, you should avoid this and you know, people have a high VP, hypertension or a heart disease uh, you should not go for this uh, posture okay so let me show you the, the steps uh, some easy way how you can go for it so lying down on your back uh, because it comes under the supine uh, postures. <coughs> I'm turning to the side. So lying down on the back, uh, bring your both hands uh, beside your body, palm facing down, the feet together. As you inhale, lift your both legs up together. Okay. Now, freeze your both hands down or against the floor. At the same time, lift your buttocks, the hips up. Okay. Strengthen your arms and lift your buttocks up. At the same time, immediately put your both hands on your waist so that you can uh, make your body balance like this. Okay. So from here, lower down. Up. Lower down. You have option, it's the option you may just place your both hands at the waist here. So elbows on the floor, bring your both hands to the waist, hold it nice and tight and your toes on the floor okay you stay here and uh, if you want you can go for more uh, advances to drop the palms on the floor or you may interlock the fingers so it's up to you you have options you can choose any of these okay so toes are on the floor and maintain a gap in between the your chin and your chest make sure your, your hips over the shoulders heels uh, moving out stomach in engage the core muscle and feet together and stay here just to strengthen your shoulders breathe with the final position you can hold for a while and slowly bring back your both hands uh, to the waist so with the support of the hands very slowly lower down your hips it's a counter pose you can go for it it's like a the wheel pose it's a suppression to make your body balance neutral A 
muscles after a few seconds uh, to relax the body. Now, again, let me repeat the same sequence. Try to become aware, just uh, uh, focus in each and every movement. So bring your both hands uh, beside the body close to the hips here. Now as you inhale, lift your both legs up. Okay. Now press your both hands down against the floor. At the same time, lift your hips, your buttocks up. Like a little jog, you can say. See? So this is the way. Toes are on the floor, so he's going to be out, going down. So back clean. So it's like uh, standing on the shoulders. The shoulders are uh, below the hips. Lock the knee, fit together. Engage the core muscles. Do not move your head at all. You are looking up and try to uh, create a space in between the chest and the chin as I mentioned before. And slowly come back. With control, with balance, very slowly. As a counter pose, you can go for the wheel pose, a bridge pose, whatever you like. After that, you can relax for a few seconds here. And slowly come back. So this is how you need to uh, follow this uh, posture if you really like to do it and uh, get the, all the benefits uh, uh, out of this pra practice uh, for, from the posture okay so next time you try and uh, you should do practice if you are a beginner you are practicing you should do ask someone who is really uh, more experienced uh, and who can guide you uh, to do it more perfectly otherwise you may feel hot okay at the beginning anyway thank you so much for joining me bye bye